Now the G major chord, this is a six string chord. And to use this single string picking pattern, you're gonna be playing the top or the low four strings. So you're gonna be playing six, five, four, five, three, five, four, five. Now this is played over one bar. So just one bar. And so we've got eight notes. So it's basically one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. And what we're also doing is we're accenting certain notes to give, to give this um, single string pattern a little bit of feel. So we're going one and two and three and four and So we've got the accents on the first, second, third and fourth beats. And you'll notice that the and beats are the same string, the fifth string. And everything that we're doing is down picks. It's all down. Six, five, four, five, three, five, four, five. One and two and three and four and. Let's have a look at it played over the C major chord. Now C major is a five string chord. So any chord that uses the top five strings, you'll, you can use this particular pattern. So whether it's C or A minor or A7, A major, you can play this pattern. And it looks like this. Five, four, three, four, two, four, three, four. Five, four, three, four, two, four, three, four. And again, played over one bar with eight notes. One and two and three and four and. One and two and And again, we've got one string that is played constantly on the and parts. So, and that is the fourth string, your D string. So one and two and three and four and. So once again, we've got that, that note that is played constantly throughout. And again, all down strums. Uh, down picks and accenting So let's try just going back between the C major chord and the G major chord one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two You know, there are lots of ways that you can play chords. You can strum them, you know, you can do finger picking. And, but I, I like this, this, this particular way that we're, we're doing here today, this single string picking. 
you know, technically I think it's known as arpeggiated playing, but it's a great way, you know, it's, it's a great way to add feel, to add a bit of depth to your playing, and it's uh, yeah, adding a little difference to your style. And I think it can give a bit more of an emotional touch to the songs that you're learning, the songs that you're playing, you know, rather than do, just using brute force. Now let's have a look at it using the D major chord. And D major is a four string chord. So any other chords that you know that use, or that you only play four strings, the D string, G string, B string, and the high E string, you can use this pattern. So let's see how we, how we go with this. Four, three, two, three, one, three, two, three. Four, three, two, three, one, three, two, three. That's pretty nice, isn't it? So D, D7, F major, all four string chords that you can use this pattern with. Now let's put this into a little chord progression. We're just using D, C, G, and D, just the chords that we've, we've looked at so far. So nice and slowly. And you know, if you make mistakes, uh, I, I've made quite a lot of mistakes whilst, uh, while trying to record this. But if you make a few mistakes, don't panic. Just try to keep up with the chord progression. One and two and three and four and 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 so as I said, you can use this um, single string picking pattern with all your open chords. Uh, as long as you know your six string chords, five string chords, four string chords, then you can apply each particular uh, way of playing. So let's try another chord progression here and you can see it on the screen. So we've got E7, we've got A minor, D7, keep a G, C, D7, A minor, and a D. So a couple of different chords here, as well as some of the others that we've already seen. One and two and three and four and 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 So what we're going to do now is combine two chord progressions and put them into one long chord progression. And the chords are on the screen as well as the tab. And if you need any help with learning exactly what tab is, then click the link right here. It'll take you to a short video. But finish this one first. One and two and three and four and...
pretty nice chord progression. And that chord progression actually is the Rolling Stones Lady Jane. Beautiful little song. Now it's quite possible you're gonna make a few mistakes with that, but that's gonna happen. And you know, something like this single string picking, this arpeggio style of playing, it's gonna require you practicing quite a lot because you wanna get that muscle memory, especially for this particular hand, because this hand is basically doing the same thing, whether it's a four string chord, a five string chord, or a six string chord. It's doing the same sort of uh, down, 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 back, down, back, down type of picking. And um, the more you practice it, the more this will get easier. Now, if you wanna work on any other arpeggio type playing any other single string picking then click this link here and it'll take you to a playlist of other tutorials about this style of play thank you so much for joining me today happy strumming my sweet lady jane when i see you